Hey folks, it's Dan from DisneyInfinityCodes.com and I'm here inside the toy box of Disney Infinity 3.0 to check out the beautiful new Alice Through the Looking Glass theme, sky dome, and uh, texture set. So it's really cool. Uh, it's a nice little hidden treat when you own one of the Alice figures. You put it on the base and it will unlock, once you go into the toy box, a new sky dome and a new texture set. So we're in my special toy box that lets us preview all nine of the fantasy terrain pieces, as well as all the uh, textures and whatnot. So let's trigger it and, and take a ride. And I will try to narrate all seven minutes of this. I apologize, it's long, but I like to get a good 360 look at all of the pieces. Pieces. Here we go. So uh, it starts off with fantasy terrain piece number one. Some really beautiful like fern looking stuff and uh, and mushrooms and whatnot. Pretty cool. All right. It's really pretty. Uh, really pretty i like the colors a lot really really beautiful and uh you can get a as we zoom in on each of these pieces take a, a minute to also get a good look at the the flat terrain um this is really cool i love the flowers on this that's beautiful so this is fantasy terrain piece number two really cool looking piece there i love it Fantasy terrain piece number three. This is a really cool mushroomy kind of piece. Very cool looking piece there. I bet they're a nice little platforming thing you can jump up on and around. Uh, this is cool. A nice little big old vine kind of thing. Again, we haven't seen the movie yet. It doesn't come out for another uh, two weeks. So I'm sure once we see the movie, get a little bit of context. But this just looks like a lot of... Um, of Underland kind of uh, uh, theme and decor, which is a kind of cool. Awesome. This is Fantasy Train piece number four. Another cool little mushroom piece. And as uh, we're panning around from piece to piece, you can also take a look in the background at the uh, Sky Dome, which we'll get a nice preview of later, once we get done looking at the fantasy terrain pieces. Very cool. Uh, now we're on to the fantasy strips. So this is fantasy strip number one. Beautiful looking strip there. Got some cool mix of flowers and vines and stuff like that. I really dig it. I like it. it. Might be hard to see, but the edges of the pieces have like this lace to them almost, which is really cool. So they kind of look like a like a T set lace thing. And then uh, I love the base uh, of each of the pieces, the blue and purple swirl. This is fantasy terrain piece uh, strip number two. Strip number two. I have a feeling these pieces are going to blend really nicely with uh, like the Felucia Sky Dome pieces. For sure. This is Fantasy Corner number one. It's a big, tall piece. The camera did not, maybe it'll pan out enough, but a really cool tall tree there. That's really nice. I love a big, I love big tall trees. For uh, to, to play with in the in the toy box, it's not something we get uh, a lot of really big uh, plant pieces. So that's pretty rad. So this is corner number one, and then uh, once we get around here, we'll also get a peek at corner number two. Beautiful. Very cool. So there you go. So now um, that we got to pan and look at these uh, nine fantasy train pieces, what we're going to do next is take a look at the uh, raceway piece, the racetrack piece, which is this cool cog work kind of a uh, time thing. There's going to be some fun potential to make some like race against time. 
kind of uh, silly puns, but this is the uh, the racetrack piece here. Very nice. Now we're going to get a quick little close-up look at the flat and side terrain texture it's for all the terrain blocks here. So you've got like a nice brick brick kind of wall, stone kind of wall here with the vines. And um, and the ground almost looks like it's stitched, which is kind of cool. It almost looks like a stitching kind of um, tablecloth thing. And so now we're going to do a quick 360 look at the entire Sky Dome. So I'm going to leave you with this last peak here with, uh, I believe it's the Mad Hatter's windmill. So enjoy this beautiful sky dome and the full look at it. And uh, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not already. There is more content to come, even though we've Disney Infinity might be ending. Disney Infinity codes will continue to be here. Thanks for watching, guys.